draw the alternative chair conformations for CM5 dimethyl cyclohexanone. You can see that we have the hydroxyl group at carbon number one and the two methyl groups, one of them at carbon number three and the other is at carbon number five. This is a planar hexagon. To draw the chair conformations, first we need to keep in mind that up is up and down is down. What we mean by up is the dark wedges and down broken wedges. So I have here hydroxyl group up because it's a dark wedge and here the methyl group is up as well because it's a dark wedge. Here the methyl group is down the planar hexagon because it's a broken wedge, down the plane. So I have up, up, down. Let's number the two shear conformations. Here is the carbon number one, here two, here three, and here is carbon number four, and here is carbon number five. So I have one, three, and five. Here I have the carbon number one, and here is carbon number two, here is carbon number three, four, and five. To make it easier for us, let's draw the axial position for the two shear conformations first. The axial position here would be down. So carbon number two will be up. So I have down, up, down, up, down, and up in alternating position. Here would be the opposite to this one. So I have here down. So the axial position should be here up, down, up, down, up, and down. Now let's replace the groups. I have hydroxyl group up the plane, so it should be the equatorial because this is down. Now position number three is up as well, so it's equatorial as well because the axial is down. And the carbon number five of the second methyl group is down, so it should be axial. So I have two equatorial groups and one axial. In here, I have the hydroxyl group up, so it should be axial. It should be opposite to this one. And at carbon number three, I have the methyl group, so it is up. And at carbon number five, I have down methyl group, so it should be equatorial. So you can see that I have two axial groups and one equatorial. The conformation that has number of equatorial groups bigger than the other one should be much more stable. You can see that I have here number, the number of equatorial groups is larger. So this is a much more stable conformation. Stable conformation. And this is the less stable conformation.